Kyle Katarn here. I'm the Bender. Coming back for another reaction to Kenobi. Chapter right. 3, or Part 3. They're going with parts in this one. There's chapters for the Book of Boba Fett. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for us and sneaking it past the Disney blockade. You do amazing work, sir. And we're really happy we got to meet you this past weekend at Star Wars in Celebration. In person, yeah. Yeah, man, that was the awesome. The force is with you. Man, I am so excited for this. Um, I just got off a plane a couple of hours ago. Haven't slept yet. Um, still a little bit delirious and riding the high of Star Wars Celebration. Um, but I'm so, so excited and ready for this. I'm loving this show so far. What about you? <clears throat> it's completely everything that we asked for thus far. The character development is is mm. fantastic. The yes. uh, the world building and the grittiness and the realness of it seems so amazing. Like when we got the original trilogy, like obviously it was made with the cameras of the time. So everything kind of looked like, you know, backyard footage sort of a thing. Right. But the the production the values. Updated HD cameras are now. And oh, the costume man. development and everything now is just so pristine. It, yes. Um, and then the little actress that they have playing Leia. Like, I was she's just doing such a good job. of part two. And she's just, she's so incredible. She, the synergy between her and Ewan McGregor is just absolutely adorable. Yeah, I can't wait to see where, where their relationship goes from here. And this really adds, like, an awesome new Leia. Uh, Leia, 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 I'm just going Layer is what I'm trying to say. It adds an awesome new layer to um, the, the why she names her son Ben. You know, I've always thought it was kind of odd that like Leia would name her son Ben when Luke is the one who had the strong connection out of the two of them. But like, we're learning that's not the case, and that Leia knew him and too. Yeah, you know? at all, and in a big way. Um, there, so there was something crazy that happened in the last episode um, that like everybody missed, including myself. The um, the little kid that gets smuggled off the planet by Haja, Kumail's character, um, is listed in the credits as Corrin. Immediately, I think of Corrin Horn from Michael Stackpole's X-Wing novels, later became a Jedi in the New Jedi Order series. Um, and his mother is, is is not credited in the, in the, in the credits. She not, doesn't have a name, but the actress on her IMDb page, her name was listed as Nisha, which is the name of Corrin Horn's mother in Legends. Um, now it's been changed to, like, unknown role to, to match the, the what the credentials of the episode are now that the episode's live uh, yeah but like man that's just an, that another legends sense. character we're sneaking in there could we be getting like an adult corin in like a sequel era show later i would love it and it would be more pro and it would be appropriate for a little potentially force sensitive kid to be hanging out with some con artist pretending to be a jedi totally totally that does make sense i think that if we're gonna get Corrin Horn, the door is wide open. We better get Ganner Rysode, because Ganner Rysode was always my favorite character. So hopefully they all come back. It's a slippery slope, man. Like, you start start hoping for legends and inclusions, and, uh, you know, only pain will you usually find. But Right? Oh, We're wait. still waiting for that Knights of the Old Republic recognition. It'll come. It'll come. I really thought we were going to get yeah. a trailer for that at Celebration, but uh, I digress. I've seen a lot of people... Um, posting the theory that uh, Riva is one of the younglings from that Order 66 scene. Totally tracks for me. I think that's totally right on the on money. Twitter as well. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It also... Or at least for it to have a recognition with the name Anakin. And well, to, yeah, you know, I was going to say, it also Vader. makes sense why she knows that Anakin is Vader. It's not like she stumbled on some like top secret clearance intel. She literally saw Anakin at the temple killing younglings, and then probably some clone came up and called him Lord Vader, you know? Like and that's all it takes or to put two and two together. The force. That's that's, that's also totally possible. That Vader was Anakin. Yeah, that's totally also possible. Um, but yeah, no, I think that Riva is the youngling. It's all but confirmed for me. Um, and I think that that is going to be one of the ways that we see Hayden in the show is that we're, when it's finally revealed, we're going to see more of the flashback and we're going to see Anakin doing his thing. I can't That's wait. true, because all we've seen so far is him just floating in his uh, Revita chamber. It's not even a Baca tank. It's, like, more intense than that. That's how the last episode ended. So, like, hopefully we get some more of that in this episode. Um, speaking of Riva, I really like her character. I think she's cool. It's, it's a little bit of a different take on she's the Inquisitors. Cool. 
Like all the Inquisitors seem to be like this this little dark side click, and we've never really seen one that doesn't yeah. really belong. You know, I was gonna I was gonna add on that. Like the Inquisitors definitely seem like they've been winter soldiered somehow. Like they've all been augmentally, you know, become force attuned. And the reason why they have such a hateful relationship with Reva is because she was a straight up Jedi. Like if the Padawan theory is correct, then that They're... would mean like you know, of course they would see her as lesser than themselves because they I think there are a couple and empowered by the dark side but Reva is just a converted Padawan that I mean I think that's totally true of a couple of them I know that a few of them are for sure former Padawans themselves like Trilla the second sister from Jedi Fallen Order was a Padawan we know this um I don't know there's probably a few other ones as well that's that's my personal theory of what happened to Barris Afi is that they made her into an Inquisitor because she was in you know, a Republic prison at the time of the Empire's rise. So they have a force force sensitive right here. Why not just add her to the Fortress Inquisitorius? You know, um, true. But I, I think Re I think Riva is a really cool character. Um, the fact that she doesn't belong, I think that um, the actress is also giving a killer performance. I think she's doing a really good job. Um, I know that a lot of people have been sending her some really awful, disgusting messages on uh, Twitter and Instagram. And um, yeah, just to That's let true. it be known, for the record, we completely support Moses Ingram and think she's fucking amazing. Like, right? Yeah, we don't tolerate racism or no. any sort of bigotry no. on, on Fuck this that. channel. Fuck that. Um, we are on Team Reva. Reva's awesome. Can't wait to see where her they story goes. Rose because they did the same shit with Rose and her actress uh, gave, Kelly up, Marie Tran. gave up all of her social medias because of the same backlash. So oh, again... Good. They did it with John Boyega. I mean, they're doing it with uh, Sonequa Martin-Green oh, as Burnham over on Discovery. Right. Yeah, yeah. I totally forgot about that, sadly. Yeah, no, it's, um, it, it's a pretty disappointing thing to see from Star Wars fans, Repeated. from fellow Star Wars fans. I think everybody needs to try and do a little bit better. Um, but enough about that. We are extremely excited for Kenobi. So without further ado, let's jump into this reaction. Are you ready? Episode three. Do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They're doing oh, it. We're going to see this right now. I really thought they were going to hold him back until the end. Oh my God, no, we're getting this spine. straight away. Spine. They're going to show us how Vader actually works. Don't make me kill you. Joel Hayden's voice, man. Man, look at this. All oh, the legs. Just this, just seeing the process like this. Holy shit. They, like, stabbed into him. Yeah, dude. Straight up. He's a living action figure. You just snap those parts on. God, look at that face. Look at that face. The red lenses. <laughs> God, that's so terrifying. That is fucking terrifying. He's coming, master. Those robot legs, man. Mustafar. Oh, we're on Mustafar. Are we going to see the castle? Show us the castle. Yes! Fucking love that building so much. The most heavy metal of heavy metal buildings, dude. God, look at that throne. I know. Watching you, third sister. Third sister. Prove yourself, and the position of Grand Inquisitor is yours. Oh, okay. We're going to pit them against each other. Is that actually James Earl Jones or is it Reese Beecher? Because it sounds like young James Earl Jones. Can't you use force on it or something? <laughs> Son of the force works. That's not how it works. What does it feel like? Have you ever been afraid of the dark? How does it feel when you turn on the light? I feel safe. Yes, it feels like that. Oh. He hasn't felt safe in 10 years. We're on approach. Now where are we going? Oh, so is he in... Oh, he's been in space this whole time. So he got the fuck out of there. Yeah, yeah, they so stood the the away. They, they, they were at that shipping... The shipping yard. Is this fucking Utapau? Why would he no. fly at Utapau? I don't know. No, it's not. I just saw a sinkhole and got excited. <laughs> God, that music is so good. Is that the Master Chief? What is going on? I was gonna say I like this Power Ranger looking <laughs> droid. Yeah, he's cool. 
You're telling me that droid didn't have any like sensors that would pick him up? Have you ever played a video game? Mm -hmm. Valid point. Dude. Wait, wait, wait. He's just gonna he sees him everywhere. Is that Hayden's ghost? He sees him oh, around man, every corner. I guess corner. it would be a projection van again, you know. Man, he's so tortured. Stay close. Oh fuck. Dude, we're gonna see the train. Oh, I thought that was Vader there. heading to their planet. No 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 no. <laughs> the Inquisitor home base. Fortress Inquisitorious. Is that what it's called? Yep. We went here on Jedi Fallen Order. This music is intense. This is good if this is like the Inquisitor theme. God, look how cool it is. Oh, the undersea view. Dope. Because there was a little spire above the surface, but the complex goes down for like ages underwater. Oh. He's in one of the mining systems. No way. Are those fucking dead Padawan lightsabers and helmets? The manifest. We should send out all remaining probes now. You are not in charge. Those are all lightsabers of Jedi they've killed. I am the next in line. Why are they discussing next in line? Is the is Quizzy fucking dead? I just spoke with Lord Vader. You spoke to him yourself. Yep. Who is she? Fourth sister. And she doesn't want any part of this drama. What I Yeah, you will, and Maul's gonna give it to you. Ooh, what is this? What are we building? Oh, these are probes. Oh, fuck. These okay, cool. Droids. Flame on the flame, flame. Flame on the flame. This is it. That's Joshua Tree. This is where he told us to come to. Totally. That's the tree that's on our coin. Yeah, you're totally right. We got crew gift coins from Kenobi. What are you doing? Did you just flagging him down? Dude, what if what if she's the Cindy Lou Who that gives Obi-Wan Grinch his heart back? <laughs> We're farmers from Tall. Hey there, I'm Frank. Father. He's like a badger mole. My god, Leia. We were going on a trip and we got a little lost in this field. That's a weird story. <laughs> <laughs> just calling them out. Oh, it's an Imperial truck. Oh, man. It's like finding a racist bumper sticker after you, someone stops to pick you up. <laughs> we love the Empire. Nice to meet like-minded folk. Nothing wrong with a little order, right? No, this is good. This is showing that like not everyone in the galaxy feels the same way. As usual. Well, hop in. Meet my new friend. Oh, Jesus. Bro. This is going to be the ultimate stealth check. What are you doing out here? That's a long story. It's a long way. He brought me here to see the place where he met my mother. Before she died. Do you have any information about a Jedi? I would know one if I saw one. Are you sure he's even on this planet? They know what they're doing, Leia. Hmm? You called her Leia. Saves the nickname. My daughter's name was Luma. Damn, this trooper's quick. That was her mother's name. I get confused. Nice. I get confused. I see her mother's face. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's not a lie. Come on. That's not a lie. Come on. You knew her. My real mother, didn't you? Oh, shit. Are you my real father? Oh. I wish I could say I was. Sometimes I try to imagine what he was like. I know that feeling. I still have glimpses. Obi-Wan was taken from Stu John. I remember a baby. A baby? Yes, I think I had a brother. I really don't remember him. Frack? Frack? When the hell is that? Oh, it's a standard inspection. Don't worry. Won't take long. I mean, you were just talking about being a Jedi in earshot of this Imperial right. Sympathizer. That's true, right? That's true. I thought he was kind of just whispering. He was, he was TV talking. You can never tell what people can hear. <laughs> a couple of strays I found. Thought you might want to check them out. Mm-hmm. Right. It's fucked. Knew it. 
Frick. Yeah, there you go. Make yourself look like more of a Jedi. That'll help. Obi using a blaster. <sighs> uh oh. Yeah, you can't take him out now. That probe droid will like recognize her straight away. <sighs> oh god, oh god. Nice. Well done, Obi. Oh! <laughs> they just showed that. That was dope. All right, I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down. You're just gonna shoot a child like that, you piece of shit? Use the force, there's no one else left. No, nah, you can't do that. He's going to get discovered immediately. Vader would feel it. He already did. If he used the saber or the force? Oh, yeah. That's why he's got to use the gun. Get down. Get down on the ground. Put your head down. Oh, she was uh, Din Djarin's girlfriend in uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, she's the one that's here to help. Nice. She's their contact. We have to hurry. What? I'll take you the rest of the way. Kumail sent him here to meet someone. It's totally her. Oh, it's all right. He's on our side. Designation's Ned B. Ned B. Uh, he's he's just a loader. They don't allow them to communicate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Actions speak louder than words. Nice. That's something that Leia will take to heart. You're not the first Jedi to come through here. It all leads to Jabim. From there, we give them new identity. Jabim, nice. I'm loving all the legends love. These days, the Empire hunts anyone who's force sensitive. Damn. Man. Even children. What happens to them? No one ever sees them again. They're taken and they get trained as Inquisitors and most of them die during training. Or they just kill them outright. Yeah, Quinlan Voss, bro. Him. Did you hear that name drop? He helps now and again. He helps smuggle younglings, dude. Bro, what he's out boss. there still. We need to search the premises. You seen anyone? I'm talking to you. Nice. He's a lifter. He he can't. You would think like stormtroopers would know that. He doesn't understand. Oh, there you Come go. On. Terrifying, actually. Just this massive droid standing there with a fucking monkey wrench. A mallet to about to just up. like cave their skulls in. Ben? Oh god, he's sensing Vader. Oh my god. He looks so good. He's totally sensing something. Dude, he's gonna kill the whole family. Die. Holy shit! Straight murder. Dude, he's so angry. Oh my god, dude. It's like he can sense all of you, no matter where you hide. Quick ass head turn. <laughs> Just like randomly Bro, this killing whole time, This whole time we thought A New Hope was the first time Obi-Wan and Vader ever interacted since episode three. And this is history books. This is writing history books. Yeah, no, we're breaking brand new ground right now. This is the scene. This is that scene. It was real. Holy shit. I mean, you might as well turn it on now. Keep your cool, Oak Kenobi. 
Look at him just glowing in the dark like that. His little buttons and panels. What have you become? What have you become? I am what you made me. Oh. Yes. So what fun. a fucking response. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, it's happening. God, look at these shots, man. One look at that, with one hand. Nice. That's the shot. That's, That's the shot we, we saw. saw. Oh god, now she's seeing the names of all the other Jedi that have been here. The like Quinlan Voss. It's not really a secret door if it's got a glowing fucking button. Come on. <laughs> god, we have that gorgeous light. I know. Dude, this is the chosen one. Nice, he ignites it. Now you will suffer, Obi Wan. Holy shit. You're gonna throw. No! Oh my god! He's dragging him, dude. Using the force. Oh my god. Nice. Yes. Come on, Ned B. He's a loader. He's loading up Obi Wan. He's standing there. Got the fire in his lenses. So sexy. Holy shit, man. Are you the one I'm supposed to meet? Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, but. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No! Damn it. Holy shit, dude. That was insane. Dude. We just got a showdown All between Obi-Wan and Vader, All and it Vader. came to blows. Like, it was a full-on a full on saber fight. And then he dragged him through just, like, trying to recreate the burns that he suffered. Oh, my God. That This was a gruesome episode, dude. Like... Maybe not like gory, but like Vader just snapping oh, necks, dude, it was, torturing yeah. Obi Wan, seeing that his whole like great. suit up process in the beginning of the episode too was like gnarly. That was so cool. Oh, like again, good. like all of this stuff is just like just little little gifts and presents of things like we didn't even think about asking for or wanting to see, and then they're like, you know what? We're gonna give you this this beautiful Frankenstein sequence, really. Yeah, like, seriously, like, it was so good, dude. It was oh so my good. God. That was amazing. Um, I, yeah, I'm I, curious to see how much of Vader is now going to show up throughout the series. But like, or literally, this was it. This was history being written into the Star Wars story. Because like, yeah, the only real Obi Wan saber fights we see is in Twin Sons when he, mm -hmm. you know, very quickly just double cuts Maul and that's it. And then right now he's like. I like that we didn't just get like it wasn't just Battle of the Heroes 2.0 with all these backflips and crazy spins like it very much felt more like the original trilogy choreography you know like clearly Obi-Wan's a little weaker Vader's fighting in a different style but like the fighting was more like kendo than like swashbuckling for example you know um, and that's very always how true. I felt about the original trilogy and I like that we're getting that vibe in the fighting here you know and there's three more to come and it's like this we, might this might have nothing to do with Luke until like the very last episode or some shit. Right. I definitely think it's gonna be something where like everyone's gonna eventually leave planet, but Reva is somehow gonna track down Obi Wan to Tatooine and then Yeah, some sort of showdown, man. I really don't I think know. I think Reva is gonna I think Reva's gonna start switching sides at some point in this story because she looked pretty you think horrified. So? When Vader was was snapping heads in that village, like she was, she looked like 
She did not look like she was okay with it. Great white shark. A little shark, shocked. Man. Yeah, no, I think, and also based on the fact that we know that um, the fifth brother survives to Rebels, which is like five years from now, he ain't going to die. And if he has a bitter rivalry with her, she's either going to die or she's going to leave the Inquisitors and like just go off on her own. It's possible, but I don't think she's surviving. I think she's going to die. Nobody said anything about what happened to the last Grand Inquisitor after getting stabbed at the stomach. So Yeah, we're just assuming that he's out of the picture and everyone's just like, I, who's next in line? I think it's going to be a big reveal that he's like, surprise, I lived, bitch. <laughs> he's in a back to tank right now and he's seething. I don't like that they, I, I don't like that we didn't get a definitive answer, but they kind of addressed it when with the whole like, who's next in line. I don't know, they better not have killed him. He better still be out there recovering somewhere. Well, again, because we see another Grand Inquisitor throughout Re Rebels. so It's supposed yeah. to be the same guy. Yeah. At least I thought it was supposed to be the same guy. But now I'm not so sure because they really are taking their time revealing whether or not he survived. <laughs> I, I saw a lot of comments um, mentioning the fact that, and it's a true fact, that uh, Powans do Powans have two stomachs. So you can take a stab there and potentially not lose your only vital organ there like you have a spare maybe now spare. he's just like lactose intolerant or something who knows yeah it's like us losing a uh a kidney one kidney yeah exactly you got another one you can work you're just you're working with a half tank no i think i think he, he has to be alive he has to be it doesn't make sense otherwise um or there's Dude, some the fact that we got to see the force push and and the fact that 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 online stunt leak was actually real yeah. like confirmed now it's confirmed we've seen now. it now we like we've seen everything from the trailers that we've seen so everything that comes out in these next three episodes is going to be brand new content yes yes exactly man i can't wait we've got to get leia back from reva we've got to figure out what the deal is there We've got to uh, have some sort of another showdown, like some sort of a resolution between these two. I don't think that's the last time that Vader and Obi-Wan are coming face-to-face -face in this show. It's going to happen again probably in like the last episode. But, um... What was I about he to say? literally kid killed like six people in in less than a minute. Right? He was just snap neck. Snap neck. Yeah, no. He definitely brought the... Snap he, he definitely brought the Rogue One Vader energy this time around, for sure. Um... I was it was interesting hearing James Earl Jones come out of that. I'm not sure if it was really him or not. I feel like they could have been the see same his name in the credits. They did. So that might have to be a later reveal thing. Because they did um they did with uh, Mark Hamill in The Mandalorian and with Book of Boba Fett, they used Reese Speecher to make young Mark Hamill voice. It wasn't actually him speaking. It was like a generated AI, and I'm wondering if they did that to get the young James Earl Jones voice here cuz he sounded pretty young. Maybe it's just James Earl Jones just taking hella good care of his voice. But uh, in Rogue One, he sounded he sounded older. Like, you could hear the age in his voice. Um, we saw Hayden just as Anakin, in the, just standing there, dude. And he looked he looked like he Middle stepped of out of the, the screen field. of Attack of the Clones. He looked so good. And that proves that we can put him in that flashback and he'll look good. Like, can't wait. Yeah. I hope it happens. I hope we get oh. to see it. Not for sick reasons, just because yeah, I want to see that, Anakin again. <laughs> yeah, the fact that Obi Wan's having hallucinations. The last episode might actually be Qui Gon's voice. You know, that's what I think. Through. I think he's gonna try and fail and try and fail and try and fail to contact him, and then like at the Rain very Man. end, he's gonna show up. And the, and the reason he's finally gonna be able to do it is because some sort of something's gonna go down between him and Vader that allows him to find some sliver of peace. Because you have to be at peace if you want to be able to commune through the living force with someone who's passed on into it, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, the first step is always quiet your mind. His mind is screaming right now. He's so tortured. He's so haunted. Like, no wonder he can't get Qui-Gon on the line. Not surprised. But I think it's going to happen in the end. That's my prediction. Same. I agree. Same Any with, other like, thoughts Ray before at, we... at the end of uh, Last Jedi... Exactly. Of exactly. Palpatine shooting out an entire thunderstorm. Uh, or uh, rise of the, rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Hear me. Be with me. And then phew, there they all are. It would be awesome if Obi Wan could have a scene like that. Also, how are we not talking about Quinlan Voss getting name dropped? 
get that referred to like he's order 66 man and, and he's currently he helping out with taller people smuggler, fucking amazing dude he's ooh. doing the underground railroad shit what if we fucking see him in this show like that's essentially what's happening here is they're teasing or setting him up and if not here maybe the ahsoka show which is now going to have like sabine and hera and chopper and the ghost why not throw quinlan Voss in there too you know that's true oh, man this was awesome. I, I I love that we got we got to spend the week at Star Wars Celebration, and then f I flew home, and then immediately had a new Kenobi episode to react to. Like that's right. That's it was like awesome Trips timing. Kenobi man. Celebration, Galaxy's Edge, Episode Three. Yeah, no, it's it's been a killer week. <laughs> and now it's time for bed because I'm on the verge of passing out because pass I haven't out. slept. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed our reaction. Um, you can check out the full-length version of this reaction um, on the Patreon page. There's a link to that in the description of the video um, in its full, unedited glory. Um, other than that, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about Kenobi so far. How did you feel about the Vader fight? What's your favorite part of it? And we will catch you in the next one. As always, may the, may force, the force be with you.